Hi everybody and welcome back. Just in from outside, uh, back to the rain. Uh, so anyway, I've, I have a good bit of work to do outside this week. I'm, I'm going to fit in uh, the chain plate for that inner force day. Uh, so I, I'll be able to hank on a sail. Being able to hank on a sail will be, um, will, will be so handy for lots of different reasons. In case um, my furlers pack in for any reason, which they can do if bearings go or Anyway, I'll be able to hank on a sail. I also have two, uh, one of the new sails from Raleigh Tasker, so I'll have two two downwind sails as well if I need them, you know. Um, so uh, I've got new winches for mast and rigging. I'll be fitting them in the cockpit. Uh, that's the last of the two self-tailers to fit. Um, uh, there's lots to do, plenty to do. Uh, all the final preps, uh, time is ticking. Uh, good news as well in the food. Uh, I was up with Super Value today and Super Value will be supplying all my food. Um, I'll be getting all that on Tuesday so the work begins packing that and i got to empty the boat and then refill it. Anyway, so lots, lots of in exciting stuff. I've got some new stainless steel stuff made up. I'm going to be fitting that and lots to see and do. So I hope you enjoy watching and uh, thank you. Just got another, um, I'm just back to the boat. Just got another delivery. Uh, my lovely self tailors from Harkin. With the uh, Harkin handles from Mast and Riggy. Beautiful. Happy out there with them. Couple of friction rings, a uh, small pulley for the, uh, the dairies. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Delighted with them. So I'll have four self tailors in the cockpit and an electric winch. Beautiful. Just in, soaked. I was just I'm just after fitting the um the new uh chain plate, I'll show you now in a second. And I fitted the deck fitting. Anyway, so I have the the four stays done, it was too wet outside uh to filament. I also have uh, the new stainless steel bars fitted inside. I'll show you them now. So I got these two poles made up here and here. They're not fully fitted in yet, but as I walk through the boat, you know, when it's rough, there'll be great extra handholds. And I can reach here and here. So there'll be everywhere, everywhere I reach, there'll be, there'll be something to hold on to. So, I just, I just drilled them through, but I'm putting these on the top. I have the other one done. So I can tie, I can tie the lee cloth on here. I'll show, it's, I'll show you on this side. Anyway, I'll just tie it like that for now. So as well as uh, giving me great support as I walk in, which it will, it's probably giving good strength up to the cabin top as well. It's extra support, but it's it's definitely good to have the lee cloths tied. So the lee cloths, for anyone that doesn't understand, will make a cot out of my bed, so I don't fall out of it when it's rough. And I have one on the port side as well. Uh, good morning from Waxwing. Uh, I stayed working late last night and I did a big tidy up, but the boat was wrecked. I couldn't find anything. Anyway, my usual wreck it and tidy it. And, uh, but I was tired. I, I, uh, I, I, found, I found it hard yesterday. I did a lot yesterday, but um, that's, uh, some days are good and some days are bad, but I had a good sleep. So I'm just up now and uh, I was going to show you what I did uh, yesterday because it was very dark here last night when I was trying to show you stuff. I'm going to show you those poles in the in the daylight. There's better light. I was working at them late last night, so they're lovely now. A friend of mine made them for me, Tyke Sullivan and uh, the Spall at home. Uh, and there's more light as well to show uh, the plate I fitted yesterday. So 
so there's, there's great strength in that. That goes up on underneath this as well. It's bent up at an angle and bolted through the deck, bolted through the bulkhead. The bolts would break before that would break. So that's, and obviously it's, it's up on deck then for, for the inner force deck. Uh, so it's a, a rainy day uh, in Kilrush. Um, so I have a lot of time to think about what's going on. Um, so a lot of people behind the scenes that you don't see or hear about, uh, including my wife, Cathy. But you would hear of Cathy and, and Luna, but Cathy is huge in, in, in my preparation with my food. Uh, obviously, uh, backpacking clothes, uh, just lots, lots of general stuff. I'd be lost without Cathy. Uh, my daughter Rachel obviously looks after all the social media. It uh, looks after everything. Uh, Rachel is great. Des McMahon, a friend of mine, works tirelessly uh, with, with, with everything. Uh, Ray Desmond, another friend of mine, a great friend of mine, uh, helping with sponsorship. There's so many people behind me helping me. Uh, this trip wouldn't happen without them. Um, another person that, that works full time behind the scenes as well that you don't see or hear about much is, is Siobhan Fleming. Siobhan is the artist documenting through, through art uh, the entire trip with paintings that you'll see in a while and you'll, you'll see, you've seen them on the website. If not, go on the website and have a look. They're fantastic. Or it, the one that's on the website is, is beautiful. So I'll introduce you to Siobhan now. Uh, so this is Siobhan Fleming, the artist from Cork. Hi Siobhan. Hi Peter. That, that's going to uh, record. Are you tell us? Okay, so um, I'm Siobhan Fleming, as Peter said, and a few months ago I saw one of Peter's videos on YouTube. I said, what is this fella up to? <laughs> this mad fella going sailing around the world. Um, and I was just, um, I suppose, really excited by what you were doing and, you know, loved, loved the idea of it and came up with an idea to record what you were doing through paint, to capture it through art. And I remember I popped you off a quick email and said, sent you some samples of what I had painted before. I said, what do you think of this? And I got back, I was like, eh. so I got back um, an email from Peter saying, give me a call tomorrow. So we had a chat the next day and I suppose that, that was it really. Then you were very, very kindly um, agreed to have me on board. I was delighted. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to go up now. Siobhan has uh, brought the painting that's going to be raffled. Uh, with her here to kill rush so we're going to go up it's it's going to be hung in the marine office i think for a while so we're going to go up and have a look at that now and you get to see it uh for real yeah, yeah I, i'm going to get to see it for you're real you're going to see it for real it's yeah. your first time to see it as so well. thanks so much for everything joelle and thanks for coming up all the way and no it's great good. to see you again yeah, yeah. So my second time up to kill rush and to, to sit in wax wing and everything so great to see the progress you've made and all the new sponsors on board and everything yeah it's been busy <laughs> mm. so, okay great around the world soul circumnavigation and uh, non-stop unassisted this is the painting that i have done as the first in the series that i'm planning to commemorate and capture your journey in paint so for the first painting, I looked at some of the previous people who've done this journey and the question that I heard all the time, people asking me when you're interviewed, why are you doing this, why are you going? And Bernard Montessier, one of the um, earlier circumnavigators, had a passage in his book which ended with the line, and that is why we go. So he talked about latitude and longitude and geography and the, the coordinates of, of where the Great Capes are. But then he also talked about why the sailors do this, how they see it, and he talked about storms and hunger and pain and and beauty and um, stars and you know stormy seas and yeah. so many different things. So I tried to capture that in this painting wow. as as why you are doing this. And I know it's because of your love of sailing, but I think that's also reflected in in what I've done in the painting. So this is the first time that you're seeing it in the yeah. So, um, yet. Yeah, so I'm delighted to, to present you with this. Um, as your followers probably know, this is available um, in a draw that's going to be happening just before you leave on the 20th of August. 
and the winner of the draw will receive this painting. Through the website? Through the website. Okay. So tickets can be well, through the website. Thank you so much, Laura. I can't wait to see it. So I'm going to... Will I do it with you? Yeah, let's do one side each. And there we go. Wow. Let's stand back. Jeez, the colours. God, it looks so much more beautiful in, in, in the flesh, doesn't it? Wow. So I think another key part of your journey is that you're doing this through celestial navigation. Mm -hmm. And I've tried to capture that as well. In, so there's the spray, but there, there's also stars. Wow. There are camp seeds, rope seeds. Beautiful. Rocks, which we hope you won't see too many of. <laughs> yeah. No, they won't. Yeah, yeah not many. Beautiful. In a little nod to your dad, I got the number of his boat that I saw in one of your in one of your photos. That number one two five five was on the sail that oh my god the boat that your dad was singing. So it's just a little nod. To oh, you. that's beautiful. I hadn't spotted that. See it there. That was the sail number, I presume. Wow. God, that's beautiful, Sean. God, Siobhan, you're talented. Thank you, Peter. Beautiful. What goes on in your head? <laughs> <laughs> the storm. That's magnificent, Joanne. Oh my God, whoever wins that, that's going to be a beautiful gift. Can I enter the draw? <laughs> You'll have to check with Rachel. <laughs> well, over the moon, thank you. So anyone that's interested in that, there would be um, tickets available for, or for the draw on, on the website. Uh, Peter Lawless, Solo Circumnavigation. Thank you, Siobhan Fleming. Wow, beautiful. Busy day here today in Kibbutz. Everyone went out to Scafford yeah, Island. Windy as well. Yeah. Only gale here today. But, uh, so yesterday I, I took off the old winch, put this one on. I went in through the engine um, uh, instrument panel and got up in under it and got it the old one off. I got this one stripped off, that's my old one. And I'm probably going to go in through here and get on under it. That's today's mission. I had originally put this on uh, for the sun when we had the fine weather, but it's actually good for the for the rain. So these are the new winches to go on. Uh, Here's the old primaries, the way to that, Jesus. Um, they were the originals. So I have I have the primaries done. They're great. Secondaries. And I also I know it's a mess now, but I also have uh, a self-tailor for the main sheet. So all good. So it's gonna be just tricky now doing uh, doing that one because I'll have to get in underneath and I hate ripping stuff out because it means you have to rebuild it and uh, that's slow and fiberglass work and all that but anyway it has to be done I had to go in and get uh, a hoodie and my favourite hat my daughter Emily gave me this hat I love it Emily thank you so Silicone, the best invention ever. Woo! That was well made. I'll be there 40 years. Now the good thing about this is that this was an old power supply and transducer for um, 
uh, for a fish finder. But I'm going to use the power supply. I'm going to use the power supply for the uh, the diesel heater. Maybe if it, if if the 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 wiring is is uh, strong enough. I always say that everything happens in bursts with me. I'd be waiting and stuff and waiting and stuff. And then uh, all of a sudden, like today, everything just happens. I got a, a big coil of rope for my drog and this arrived. Woo He's got, I never need to use this. Yeah. This is my, uh, my life raft. Um, from uh, Atlantic. So this is my new life raft from uh, Survive Tech. Did a lot of research on, on this um, and got it through Atlantic Marine. Thanks to Brian at the Atlantic Marine up north. Um, geez, that's, that's, uh, please God, I never used, need it. But nice to know that in the case of an extreme emergency that it's there. So I bought this on the recommendation of uh, Sir Robin Knox Johnson. Uh, it's 24 mil octiplat, uh, plaited, eight strand rope, 24 mil an inch thick, with a breaking strain of I think 11 or 12 ton. So I tow this behind me in extreme conditions just to keep me in uh, to the weather, you know, keep the stern of the boat to the weather. So um, that's going to be a godsend. This is my old Aries that, that uh, had been kindly loaned to me by um, a friend of mine, Con Brosnan. Thank you, Con. I'm not going to need it. Thanks to uh, Aries, Ben Gear gave me the new one and, and the Irish Whale and Dolphin Group. So thanks, Con. That was super. It was a lovely offer. Thank you. So just back from Jimmy the Barber in Kilrush. Had a nice shave and got the beard done. And Anyway, I, um, my grandson Jace is having his christening tomorrow, so I, I'm going to that, so I said I'd get tidied up and probably the last groom for the bones of a year, so. <laughs> so thanks everybody for uh, tuning in this week, and uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and uh, details for the, the draw the painting are on the website. It's a beautiful gift. It's really beautiful to see it up close. Thanks again to Siobhan. Um, so uh, wishing everyone a lovely weekend, uh, wax wing out. Mm -hmm.